Here is my out of focus Frankenstein of a 3D printer endearingly known as Jankbot that I will be upgrading the power supply on today. But first let me show you what's changed since the last time I made a video on it. First thing was I made some spring retainers to keep them centered. They were just at an awkward slant with only washers there so these just keep everything neat and straight. Next thing and probably the most important was the new Z motor brackets that I designed, installed both on the left and the right side. The original brackets were really crappy quality with lots of Z-banding and poor layer adhesion, but specifically no triangulation. The right motor was wobbling a lot, and I thought I fixed that in the Z-bearing upgrade video, but it was only temporary. Now it's stiff as a board and I don't have any more Z-banding. Next thing was the Y motor bracket. Again, really poor quality, but the main thing was that the piece was slightly warped and that caused the belt not to run super smoothly on the gear on the motor. It rub against the wall of the gear at, at some point in every rotation causing some poor motion. I modeled up a new one and printed it off and now it's at home in the back working perfectly. Also I finally made a bracket to hold the LCD up. Before I just had it sitting on top of the desk which was okay but not ideal. I made use of the upper Z rod bracket bolts and it's strong enough to withstand some tough button pushing. So that's what's changed now let's see what the problem is. My printer currently is powered off a super cheap desktop PSU that literally sits right next to it on the desk with this super finicky power switch. And I do mean super finicky. See what I mean? So I will be fixing that with this 12 volt 30 amp power supply that is commonly seen in a lot of printers. It was only $20 off Amazon and a hell of a lot safer than what I've been using for the past 4 years. Here's the first stain I made for the power supply you can see in this old footage from a while back. I tried to add some nice detailing to it, but that came out, well, you'll see. That could not have come out any worse. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. But I think that is only fitting. <laughs> And this one won't be used, but here's it together to get an idea of how it's going to look. Out with the old and in with the new. The only two main differences are that the mounting tabs are now positioned so the PSU fan now blows away from the printer instead of toward the build area, and also it has some total recall mounting nipples. These make use of the right Z motor bracket bolts. Alright, well, that's everything, so let's get started. So here's the piece of shit in all its glory. I think this is the first time it's been out of the room and out of the open like this in about three years. The quality is questionable, but even though it's super messy and looks as if it was thrown together, I do still love it. First things first, which is removing the Arduino and ramps board and unscrewing the power cables. These sleeved wires that were also attached to the positive and negative leads power the heatsink cooling fan. Why they have their own sleeve, let alone why I have three sleeved wires coming from the extruder and some not sleeved when they could all just be in one sleeve, I just have no idea. And I do still need wires for the new power supply, so I'll just harvest them from the original one. The new switch calls for some jumper wires for the fuse as well as just for connecting to the power supply, so with the use of some thick gauge wire, crimp on spade connectors, and some heat shrink, I make just that. And after all of them are made, I go about attaching them all together on the switch and the power supply itself. I give it a good test fit to make sure they're all the right length with no kinks or snags and everything looks good. Time to bolt down the switch, insert the power wires, and bolt on the PSU to the bracket for good. Now to install it, I just have to remove the right Z motor and bolt up the bracket on the back. With the use of the new bracket, it calls for longer bolts, so I replaced the originals with just that. And it fits like a glove. A weird power supply bracket shaped glove, but a glove nonetheless. You can see it's bolted on there pretty securely and moves with the printer, but there's still a bit of wobble on the top end, which is why I printed off these two brackets. One bolts onto the back of the power supply and the other clamps around the Z support rod. It is still a bit loose so I just take it off and add in some duct tape to reduce the tolerance. 
After that, it's clamping perfectly, but looks like garbage. And the original wires that I harvested weren't long enough with the power supply in its new location, so I had to solder on some extensions, but once that was done, it is time to clean up the heatsink fan wires and screw them in along with the power wires to the ramps board. The last piece of the puzzle is reattaching the Z motor and crossing my fingers and hoping that it works. And it does! Everything runs perfectly and it's a heck of a lot quieter with the new power supply fan only turning on when it needs to, as opposed to it being always on like with the old one. I would say this printer project endeavor is coming to an end hopefully soon, with only wire cleanup as the big issue. I'll more than likely do something with the extruder too, but for now, Jankbot is running just fine. Oh, and I finally cleaned the workspace too. <laughs>